I'm such a scatterbrain when it comes to praying. I start to pray to God, and the you know, most powerful being in the universe, and then I get thinking about the very people I'm praying about. I need to contact them, or I need to do this. Something that really helps me is when Jesus said, "These, this is the most important command that you can obey in your life, is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Now listen, can I just lead you through that prayer? It's been so helpful to me. It gets increasingly helpful to me. And as I pray it every day, I pray it actually many times during the day when I need to reset my feelings, reset my thoughts, reset my priorities, or reset my energy level. So can I just lead you in the prayer? Well, first, we'll start with the heart, all right? Because our heart is really our feelings. You know, you get to set your feelings, just like you have a, a remote where you set the channel, you decide your playlist, you should decide what YouTube you're going to watch. You can set your feelings the same way. You can say, this is the way they're going to go. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. So I set my feelings by praising you for so much good today, for thanking you for so much good today. So just bring your, your feelings, however you're feeling right now, just bring them before the Lord and say, I, I set them, Lord, but I elevate, I change them by by praising you and thanking you for so much good. And then heart, soul. Can I just lead you in praying about that part of you that's made to live forever? Because so many times we get caught up in this life, the busyness, the responsibilities, the temptations, and we forget that we're, we're made to live forever. And so we sacrifice the temporary for the, for the permanent. And so, so I, I just bring my, my pressures and uh, the things that are trying to rob me of my soul and things that I need to purchase or I think I need, I just bring them all before the Lord. And I say, Lord, I, I love you with all my soul. So I sacrifice to live today like it matters forever, because it does. <laughs> Heart, soul, mind. Bring whatever stress in you. You know, those anxious thoughts. For me, it's usually about injustices of people and setbacks of circumstances. And uh, I just get in, get before God, try and get him upset, and he's not. <laughs> so I get to a place where I experience his peace, where he says, you know, I, I've, I, I came to heal your broken heart. <laughs> it's broken because of people's treatment. And so, Lord, heal my heart. I, I love you, Lord, with, with all of my mind. And, and so I, I choose to think of, what will bring the best out of these people and these circumstances that I encounter today? Bring them before the Lord. You, you know, sense his peace when you do that. You know, when you get in his presence, you got to decide who's going to become like the other, right? Who's going to get on the same wavelength? And if we need to get our upsetness over to his peace, he says, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives let him give you that peace. Heart, soul, mind, and strength. My energy level. <laughs> we get worn down. And he says, I love you. You know, see my face. Not just see me as a provider, right? Don't just see my hand. See my face. I love you. I want to give you strength for today. So just, just bring whatever is wearing you down. Whatever responsibilities you dread, even today. Just bring them before the Lord and say, Lord, I... I love you with all my strength, all my strength, Lord. And so I, I know that you're with me and you're going to give me strength as I love you. Help me, help me to love people the way that you love me, Lord. I love you with all my strength. So I, I love people. <laughs> I go into this day knowing that you'll give me the strength because you love me. Thank you that I've got the strongest love in the universe. I have the love of Jesus. Amen. Amen.